Welcome back to Spice Candies. This time I'm discussing uh, something people have asked me quite a few times and it's a very basic question. How do you know if your thermometer is good enough? And we have a digital thermometer here. This is really, really cheap. Made in China, of course. And this is also made in China. It's a bit more expensive. Again, this is something like uh, $8 and this is something like $3, $4. This is not expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive. So we want to know if they're good enough, right? You need a, some curve that tells you it's working along all the parameters from, let's say in this case, 0 to 300 degrees Celsius, which is labeled over here, minus 50 to 380. I don't have a way to measure minus 50, but we will measure 0. We'll measure 100 degrees, which is easy. That's boiling water and we'll measure 180 degrees Celsius and that will give us the ballpark we need for candy making and that's just fine for what we need. So how do you do that? Well, let's get started. I have a bowl here. We're going to put some ice in it and then we're going to start measuring. Let's put some water in there as well because the temperature of the ice is not 0 degrees Celsius, it's more like minus 80 degrees Celsius. And we'll just stir it lightly. Perfect. Now let's do some measuring. I'll turn this on. It has cooled. It was 30 degrees before. And if we put it in the ice, and let it be, like so. There we go. We can take some measurement. Now you can see it's dropping considerably. We're at 5 degrees Celsius. Now this measuring tool is saying 7.8 degrees Celsius. And I'm making sure it's not touching the ice, just the water. So it's cooling, it's around 6. Again, it's not ideal, this is not a scientific tool it's equivalent and it's good enough for our measure so we have the minimum range of roughly, I don't know if you can see that 4.5 degrees Celsius so that's acceptable let me try again it says this time 1.1 degrees Celsius so really I'm really happy with this result this is stuck on 4 degrees Celsius and it should be 4 degrees Celsius, by the way, because ice water is 4 degrees Celsius. And this is also in the ballpark, 2 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's take the ice away. Okay, I have uh, my pot here, I'm turning the heat on. Small burner on high. And I'll be pouring some boiling water. If you're a kid, please use parental help or somebody, somebody adult. Right, let's wait till we get the bubbles to flow consistently and you can see it's happening really soon. Now, when you take a measurement with this sort of tool, make sure it doesn't touch the bottom. It cannot do this because then you're measuring the temperature of the bottom which is being heated by the flame this is not accurate so I'll just put it in there and if I were to use this on a routine basis I'd make some sort of a clip so I can just put it there and it's being in the candy or in this case boiling water let's measure it says 91 and this says 97 Let's measure again. They disagree, as you can see. This is still 90.4, and this says 97.8. Again, I'm not touching the bottom. It's just in water. Measure again. 95, 94.9. That's good. So we have 95 degrees Celsius and 99.4 <laughs> uh, 
and it's rapidly cooling. The steam also interferes with this one, while the steam does not interfere with that one. It says 99 degrees Celsius. Good. So we've reached our midpoint. Let's carefully pour off the water. This is plain sugar. Sugar caramelizes at 180 degrees Celsius. So let's give it a go. Put it there. Heat on. And we'll take some measurements. As soon as it will reach a golden color, I'll stop the heat and take the measurement. Okay, I'll lower the heat to medium and start steering. You can use a stick to do that, you can use a spoon. Start steering. We're at 130 degrees Celsius already. 130 degrees Celsius in both. And I'm lowering the heat considerably because the edges are starting to caramelize rapidly. I just want it to be dissolved fully. Get that off of it. Ooh, that's really tough. It's not coming off. We'll have to dissolve it. Tough stuff. And it says and it says 170 degrees Celsius. My thermometer says 180. That's fine enough. Let's close that and pour our candies. Because <laughs> this is a candy. This is the candy my mom used to make me. So give me a second and I'll show you how. I have some parchment paper here and a few sticks. Let's take our candy. This is the candy channel. You weren't going to go without a candy, right? Remember, you've got a reputation of some sort. <laughs> there we go. And last but not least, I think maybe we could pull a few more before this hardens. And collect it. Starting to agglomerate. I'll we'll just pull that off. There we go. And let's combine all these cute little drops into another. And we got last one. Ideal! <laughs> so our thermometers are in good shape, they're working properly. They're not super accurate. They don't have to be super accurate. They have to be good enough. And this is crucial more at the temperatures of toffee, but for hard candies, that's fine. Well, this will cool off in a minute, and I'll show you the result. Okay, this took just a minute, and the candies are cool. Cool and hard. You can see the bubbles at the bottom. This is really, really cute. And I'll just take the double one and just break it apart. Just like a wishbone. And we got some really nice candies there. <laughs> Let me get these sorted out. I'd say we got our candies and we verified our thermometers at the same time. So, hope you enjoyed these. I'm definitely going to enjoy one of those now. 
it's going to remind me of uh, my youth when mom used to make these and these are really really nice don't overcook them if you want to make these very one rule don't overcook them because they'll become uh, darker and they'll become bitter so as soon as the sugar dissolves stop pour so hope this helps I have two more uh, short videos on this series and then we're going back on track and make candies lime candies first so see you then thanks guys and see you soon. Have a sweet day.